So, do you have a CSV file and you want to upload into Metabase? In this video, I will show you how to do it. Alright, before you upload the CSV, there is a quick checklist to go through. Number one, make sure your file has a header row. That means the first row should contain the column names. Number two, check the file size. It needs to be under 50 megabyte. If it's bigger, just split it into small parts. Next, keep your column consistent. Don't mix text with numbers or integers with decimals. That can confuse Metabase when it tries to guess the column type. And last one, check your date format. Use this for regular dates and this if you have a timestamps. Okay, to upload the CSV in Metabase, you have to go to any collection that you want to upload your CSV and you need to press on this button to upload the data. And this is, since this is the first time we are doing this, Metabase tells me that I need to enable uploads in the admin settings. So I will go to setup and here Metabase asks me for the connected database to save the uploaded data. Metabase doesn't store the files itself, but if you add Metabase storage to your account, you will be able to upload CSV directly to Metabase, no external database needed. And if you're using your own database, there are few are supported for uploads, Postgres, MySQL, Redshift, and ClickHouse. And for this example, I will be connected to Postgres. If you press on the sample database that comes with Metabase, you will see a warning that your data will not stick around. You can use it for testing only. And then I will be pressing on Postgres. The schema will be selecting public and you can optionally add the prefix for your table. I press on enable uploads and I will go back to the collection here and then I will press on upload data to the drop zone here. And this is the sample CSV file that I want to upload it. When I press on open, you can see the file is uploaded. Once the upload is complete, Metabase creates three things, a table in the connected database, a model in your collection, and a new column called Metabase row ID. This is an auto-generated primary key which Metabase generates for each row. If your CSV already has a column with a similar name, Metabase will ignore it to avoid naming conflict. And if you want to update the metadata for your file, you can do it right here in this model. You press on the three dots and press on edit metadata. For example, we can change the column type of the order date, it's written no, no semantic type, but like we will just make it as a creation date, save it changes, and you can do more as well. Now, let's say you want to upload more data later, maybe an updated CSV with more rows. For example, here I have this one with the 300 rows and the new one like have the double of them. Um, in this case, we can upload the new one. Metabase will be asking you uh, three things. One, do you want to create a new model, which will just create a new total entire model. Um, you can append it to a model which will add the rows to the existing table or you can replace the data in the model. And in this case, I will append, the append to this model. And now when I check it out, I can see that I have more, oops, it's not showing. Okay, I have like more 100 rows have been added. To let your users upload a CSV, you need to give them the permissions to do that. Let's go to the settings, admin settings, and we go to permissions. And then we select databases and we select the database that we allowed the uploading CSV. Here I have created CSV uploaders. Now for view data, you should set it as can view. And for create queries, you have to select as query builder only or the query builder and native because uploading a CSV, it's mean creating a model. And when you save the changes, now your people in this group can upload a CSV. One more thing before we finish, here's a quick bonus for you. If you're using Metabase Cloud, you can connect directly to Google Sheets. You can import a single sheet or an even entire folder of spreadsheets. Just copy this email and add it as a viewer and paste the link of the folder. And then you press on import folder. This will take a while, but then you will see your folders inside the databases and inside Metabase Cloud storage. And this will give you live connection to your data. No need to upload a new CSV every time something change. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.